Here. Hmm? What? Wait. I came to Mikey's today to hang out, but... Hey, Mikey! Mikey, open up, pal! Hmm? Oh, hey! What's up? Open the door! Sure! Hmm. Oh, thank you. There! Huh? This is your place? By the way, why is your house surrounded by a massive fence? Why? Yeah? For security! I made it to protect myself from thieves and zombies and any other terrible things that try to get me. I see. Yeah, that makes sense. It looks like it'll keep you really safe. I know! Guess what, JJ? I'm planning on making something way cooler than this. Way cooler? All right. What about this, Mikey? Let's make the strongest security system ever. It'll be so strong that we won't be afraid no matter what comes. That sounds great, JJ! Let's do it! Okay, let's get started on the strongest security house ever built. Come on! All right. I imagine that this security house would be really modern and new. After all, if it's going to be the strongest security, we have to include lasers and traps. Yeah, that sounds good! Let's make some strong defenses so we can rest easy. What should we make first? Well, since we're talking about security, I think we should make something that's worth protecting. Sounds good! There. See this treasure chest? This will be the main thing we're protecting. Let's put valuables in. Oh, like what? Actually, I'll check in and see what you put in later. I'm still pretty curious about what's inside, though. It's important to plan ahead, but I think I'll focus on the house for now and the security later. All right. Let's make this house modern. First, we're going to cover the entire floor with quartz blocks. Amazing! It sure is, Mikey. Let's take a quick look at it now. Now then, let's get building. Yeah! Let's build up the first floor from around here. Like this. We need to make a couple of pillars. Mm. Very nice. This means the frame for the first floor is finally finished. And now the base for the second floor is all filled in. We did it! The second floor should be extra fancy. Let's do it! Yeah! Fancy, fancy, fancy! Also, the second floor has lots of space we can use up. Come on! Hmm? You mean like this? Yeah. Huh. How's that? Something along those lines. The first two floors are a little stiff and square, so I thought it might be best if we added some curves to the third floor. Plus, I was thinking we could include a giant U-shaped window somewhere around here. But how? I also want to change the color. Let's use blackstone. We'll make sure the U-shape is enormous. Like this. We finished building our masterpiece. Sweet! Next, let's start putting glass up towards the ceiling. All right. How's that? This looks so incredible! I want to live in here! It looks really good already, but we still need to work on the interior. Let's go! In here is the treasure chest we gotta protect. Yeah, it's the most important part of our plan! We should build a cage around it. Whoa! No one can reach it now! Yep, that's good. Now, with these iron bars, our treasure chest is completely secured. We did it! I'm glad that's done with. Next, let's build up some more of the interior. We'll install our defenses last, so for now, let's just decorate inside the first floor. We still need to put in a living room and a kitchen. You can set up the chairs in there, and I'll build the kitchen over here. Okay! All right. I'm using this fire and making a stove. Now then... Good job! I'm gonna put a smoker right beside it. And then a cauldron. And then finally, I'll make a fridge. This tripwire hook will be our faucet. And we'll just ignore the fact that it's coming out of the fridge. All right, it looks like we're finally finished. Wow, this really is a full-on kitchen. Now it's finished. Did you make a couch over here, Mikey? Wow, it's amazing! We'll need a dining table too, so let's make one right here. I'll make it like this. There. Because it's so close to the kitchen, we can eat our meals right after we cook them. So fancy! This house is awesome! Yeah. And here's the bedroom. The bedroom's important. I want to make it relaxing. Let's put wood in here. This room is super elegant! Yeah, that's true. 
Here's a lantern. Oh, it looks like it started raining. Wait! You're forgetting an important part of the bedroom. Hmm? Look, what do you do before you go to bed? What? Read a book, right? Ah, <laughs> that's right! Yeah, books! Oh yeah, I almost forgot about reading! How could I? That's a lot of bookshelves. Okay, the bedroom's done. All done. Next, we should figure out a way to get outside. Isn't there a way to get outside from here? You need to get outside? Hmm. We could make a secret door! Okay, let's get inside, but we'll try and go this way. All right, how was that? It's kind of obvious, but it's still a secret door. Yeah, it still is. Just through the vines. Hm. Go through the green? <laughs> green means go, right? Yeah, green means go. So you can head straight through the vines to enter. Green means go. Go through the green. Green means go. <laughs> All right, we finished the inside of the second floor. Where on the third floor should we set up our study? How's that? Here. Cool. Thanks. Our eyes will get worse if there's no light. Studying in the dark is bad for you. Well, it seems like we're all finished in here. It looks really great now that it's done. All done. Do you have any idea what we're doing next? Next? Oh, yeah. It's time to upgrade the security, isn't it? Yep. Security time! Now. Let's make some security for the treasure chest. I just need to decide on some security devices that we're going to use. Like what? What'll you pick? Let's dig a hole. Sure, let's do it. Now we'll put in the lava, Mikey. Lava? Let's put lava everywhere, except on the house, got it? Ooh. I guess that means we finished our lava moat security. How exactly do people get in? Jumping? Yeah, jumping. Yeah. There, see? Does that mean we're done? Nope, not yet. What else? We're forgetting something really important, Mikey. We need a beacon. And some pink colored glass. And finally, a few iron blocks. There, it looks perfect! This house is incredible! We finished the lasers. Our house is super secure. Amazing, amazing, amazing! Now all that's left to do is build security for the inside of the house. We need to punish any robbers who try and steal from the treasure chest. I want to set up an elaborate trap. I'm going to put a lever system here, and whenever it gets pulled, the robbers will fall into a pit. This means I'll have to do a lot of digging before the trap is complete. They'll fall down here, and they'll be stuck inside forever. Whoever's trying to steal our treasure will hit this switch, like this, and the floor falls out from underneath them. Oh, wow! That's the coolest thing ever! All right. That means now we need to start thinking about where they're going to land when they fall. Huh? What's this? When the robbers fall down, they'll think, oh, treasure, and try to open it. Then, bang! Is that TNT? I can't believe you put a trap chest on top of the TNT. Awesome! It's not a chest, but it sure looks real. Ah, <laughs> perfect. Now then. We're finished. Yeah, the pitfall trip is complete. We also put in that dummy chest for good measure. OK, I think we have the best security possible. Now I'll explain everything. Yeah, explain. Whoa. So on the outside, we put in some pink laser beacons. Careful. I don't want to touch them. Right, or you'll take damage. These beams are also a really good way to intimidate any nearby enemies. Yeah, that's true. Next up, we have a lava moat surrounding the entire building. Nice. Any zombies or spiders or creatures that can't jump will fall straight in like this. And if we fall in, the pool's right there. Wow, so strong! We'll cool off right away. Okay, next we go inside the living room. The kitchen's over there. Our couch is the best place to relax under our fancy light source. It's like art. Yeah, like art. Here's our treasure chest. The treasure, however, is still a mystery. Only Mikey knows what's inside. Yeah, I think it's good enough for now. Great. If a thief shows up, he'll think to himself, oh, if I pull the lever, I'll unlock the cage and I can get a hold of the treasure. But when he pulls it... Ah! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Perfect! He'll fall through the sand and then think to himself, another chest! Lucky! And then he'll open it. But that's what will trigger the TNT underneath it! Whoa! Wow! Just like that. Well, as long as we're in here, we'll be safe from zombies. We could even relax on the couch if we wanted to. This is the best house ever. The best! Hmm. 
Looks like we really made the ultimate security house. We'll be fine no matter how many zombies or robbers show up. We showed them! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a like and subscribe to our channel. And try to build your own security houses to see how they turn out. See ya! Bye bye oh! Run, Mikey! Today, we're holding a zombie security house building competition. Oh! Good idea, JJ! That sounds like fun! I'm going to build a security house that can hold off any number of zombies! Alright, I'll build here! Let's see who can build the strongest anti-zombie security house! A competition with JJ! Yay! Okay, first I'll build my house's frame. Hmm... Yeah, I want it to be sturdy, so I'll build it with iron. I'll start by laying out the blocks to build the frame. I want to make a nice big house with this. Alright, that should do it for the house's frame. Oh, Mikey's hard at work. I'm doing my best. Mine will be more impressive than yours. Mm-hmm. Let's give it our all. Next, I want to reinforce my house by using security lasers. First, I'll make the pillars. And then I'll place the lasers here. I'll surround my entire house with lasers like these. Okay, my security lasers are complete. Basically, it's impossible to reach the area around my house now. But there's just one problem. I can't even get into my own house. I'll use slime blocks to build a jump device. Now I can leave the property to go outside and still get back in from the outside. Uh, how's it going, Mikey? Hmm, I'm putting in windows so I can see outside. This is definitely going to be an amazing security house. Oh, it's really coming along, Mikey. I need to pick up the pace. Okay, I think I'll work on the interior of my house next. First, I'll put in some glass windows so I can see what's going on outside the house. Okay, now I'll be able to see outside from within my house. Right, this is a zombie security house. So I only want to put what I absolutely need in the interior. I'll start by putting a bed here. Next, I want to store emergency food and weapons. I'll put a chest here. Now how about breakfast? Bread and... hmm... Cookies and golden apples. Maybe water? I also want to put weapons in here. How about a flamethrower? Now to take these... And leave them inside the chest. Alright, now I have bread, cookies, golden apples, water, and flamethrowers all inside the chest. If I want my security house to be as reinforced as possible, I don't want to use a door. As for how I'm going to get inside the house, I think I'll make a secret entrance over here. And the secret passage is complete. I'll try pushing the button. I'm in. The tunnel leads here. Now when I push the button, I'm able to enter the house. Hey Mikey, how's it going? I'm working really hard on my interior right now. It's going well. It's really coming along, Mikey. Alrighty then, I need to do more. I'd like to work on increasing my anti-zombie security measures next. See these walls? I want to place turrets here. And now if I pull the lever, the gun will automatically attack zombies. This is the ultimate turret. Now that the first floor is done, I want to work on the second floor. I'll make a hole leading to the second floor and place some ladders there. All right, up I go. This is the second floor. Oh, hi, Mikey. Oh, hey, JJ. I'm working on how I'll fend off the zombies when they come. Well, you're really working hard on it. I'll try to keep up. Now then, the second floor has a great view, and it's perfect for getting a handle on the situation outside. To make sure zombies can't climb onto the roof, I'm going to set up some security lava. I'll place a bucket of lava into this dispenser. Then, I'll add more dispensers here. Just like this. There are buckets of lava in all of these. I'm placing them all along the roof. Next, I'll connect them all together using redstone. Then, I'll place redstone dust along the outside. I'm hooking them all together with a redstone circuit to activate them. 
Okay, the redstone circuit is complete. And with that, my security house is complete. I wonder how Mikey's doing. Oh, are you already finished too, Mikey? Oh, JJ! My anti-zombie security house is complete! Isn't it awesome? Whoa! Show me how it all works, Mikey! Sure! Well, check this out! Look! Here I go! This is a cobweb barrier! Ah! The cobwebs slow you down when you get caught in them, so the zombies won't be able to reach my house! Interesting! The cobwebs are there to slow the zombies down. But how are you gonna get inside, Mikey? JJ! All I have to do is jump over there! Ready? <laughs> I messed up! I got caught! Oh! Oh! Whoa! Uh, well, it's not easy to jump over that. It could be a problem if you get caught when there's zombies around. Hmm, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm confident that I won't make any mistakes during a real zombie invasion. JJ, look at this next! What are those? These are... Arrow launchers! How do they work? Just watch! Ready? Mm-hmm. Woohoo! Yay! Whoa, that's awesome! <laughs> yeah! Whoa! Pew, pew, pew! How does it work? Whenever I pull this lever, it shoots out a bunch of arrows! Your interior is quite luxurious! Oh, JJ! You noticed! But there's no need for it to be this nice. There's plenty of stuff you don't need to secure yourself against zombies in here. Hmm, that's true. But I really wanted it to look nice inside. <laughs> Just look at it, JJ. I even have diamonds on the wall. Hmm. Over here, I prepared lots of treasure, too. See? I've become quite attached to this security house, thanks to all the fancy stuff I have in it. I like it so much I wouldn't mind living here forever. Hmm, I see, but still. It's certainly a very nice interior. I know, right? It's night, Mikey. The zombies are coming. It's time to find out whose security house is stronger. All right. Ah, zombies! DJ! Wow! Yikes! Zombies! Into your security house! Ah, ah, I'm going in! They're coming! Hurry, Mikey! Whoa! I jumped over the cobwebs! Nice! Whoa! Shoot, they're coming for me, too! I'll use the jumping device to hop over the lasers. All right. Whoa, here they come! There's so many zombies coming! Those lasers should... Oh, ah, ah, they're getting in! Into the secret entrance! Okay, through the passage, and then use the jumping device to get inside. Whoa! Wow! There are already so many zombies here! All right, now I'll activate the turrets and let the guns deal with the zombies. Woohoo! They're shooting them automatically! I just have to wait for the guns to fight the zombies for me. All right, much better. The turrets have taken care of the zombie threat. Woohoo! Uh, how are you doing over there, Mikey? No problems here! Piece of cake! Fighting off the zombies with arrows! Keep it up, Mikey! Let's both survive this! Let's do it! Okay, let's go up to the second floor and take a look around. Let's see... I might as well take the golden apples and flamethrower I prepared. I'll eat one now. Alright, up to the second floor. Whoa! Mikey's house is surrounded by zombies! Uh, hang on... Yikes! My house is still surrounded by zombies! All right, in that case, I'll fight them off with this flamethrower. It's time to take out the zombies! Woohoo! Whoa! There sure are a lot of them. Oh, hang on. Oh, the zombies are climbing up! This is bad! This is bad! It'll be okay, though. Don't forget, I still have security lava. Security lava switch on! Whoa! The zombies don't stand a chance at getting up here, thanks to my security lava. All right, all right! Now to turn the security lava back off. Uh, Mikey, how are you doing? I'm in trouble! Zombies got inside my house! They broke down my wooden door! Oh. What? Uh, get to the roof! Ah, to the roof! 
Okay! Whoa! I made it! I never thought they'd be able to get inside! Save me, JJ! What do I do? Escape to my security house! Got it! I'm stuck! Mikey's caught in the cobwebs! No! Oh, Mikey! Well, let's get started! We're here at a tiny village! A tiny village? Oh! There's a villager living here! What are we doing here? Well, today, we're gonna have a security building competition! Oh, cool! Let's show how to build the best security systems ever! But how are we competing here? In a little while, this village is going to be attacked by raiders! What? So, how about the security system that best defeats the invaders is the winner? Raiders? Leave them to me! With my security know-how, those raiders will be gone in no time! I'll fight them off! <laughs> oh, I forgot something important! Does the winner get a prize? Oh, I didn't think about that. Well, this time, let's have the prize be ice cream. Ice cream? I love ice cream! I'm definitely going to win! I'm going to start billing first! Good luck then! Let's get started! Let's do it! JJ, I'm ready! Oh, give me a quick tour, Mikey! Sure thing! Check this out! An extravagant two-story house! Oh, it doesn't look like a two-story house! Well, see? Two floors! No kidding! Also… Yeah? These are my secret weapons! Hmm… what? Pew pew pew! Pew pew pew! Cool, right? I can hit far away enemies with these! I'll fight them off with rapid fire! That's a lot of firepower! Great, right? Plus… Yeah? That's not all! Go on! Watch this! Okay… Three, two, one! How do you like my pitfall traps? Pitfall traps! If they get too close, I'll drop them all in the pits! So you'll attack far off enemies with your rapid fire arrow contraptions, and if they get too close, you'll drop them in the pits! You got it, JJ! And to top off my perfect security system… Yeah? Ta-da! Ta-da! Oh! Not a single enemy will set foot inside this house! And even if they do, I'll be there with my sword to fight them off! That all looks pretty good! Protect your villager, Mikey! Leave it to me, JJ! I'm absolutely gonna win! Well, the raiders could be here soon! Mikey, the raiders are coming! Alright, don't panic! Apples are delicious! Good luck! They're here? Where? Here they come! Oh! I have my secret weapons ready to go! Oh! Let's go! Go, Mikey! A little closer… Take this! Huh? Oh! They're here! <laughs> Nothing's hitting! Pitfall! The pitfalls! The pitfalls! What? Are you kidding me? Ah, one fell in! At least one fell in! It worked? <laughs> Hang in there! I have to knock them in! Oh! What? Oh, come on! Keep it up! Mikey, you're full of arrows! Uh, no, I'm not! Go, go, go! Ah! Seriously? Oh! Why me? Hey! Mikey, you can do it! I want to get at least one! Ah! <coughs> Are you kidding me? Mikey, you fell into your own pitfall trap! This hurts! Oh, no! Hey! Time out! Time out! Mikey! Oh! Aww. I totally failed! Well, it was a good try, Mikey. Your pitfall trap didn't really catch them, though. But don't beat yourself up about it. Now it's my turn. I'll do my best to build some amazing security. Those were tough enemies. It's going to be hard to fight them off. Even for you, JJ. Well, good luck. Thanks. I'll try. Let's get started. Get to it. I'm done. Oh? This time, Mikey, I've prepared four secret security systems. What? 
secret security systems? What are they? Still, even for you, this is gonna be a rough battle. I'm worried for you. Well, good luck. Mine is also a two-story house. I guess I'll go up. No kidding. All right, all right. Ready to go. Now to wait for the raiders. Oh, they're coming. Good luck, JJ. I wonder which direction they'll come from. Oh, here they come. They're really strong. All right, what should I do first? How are you going to fight them from far away? Do you have any high-powered arrow shooting devices like I did? I'll hit them with this. Take that. Ah, what was that? What? Go, go, go. That's your first secret weapon? They're going down. What? No way. Woo, two left. <laughs> My bow and arrows make lightning and explosions. Whoa! Where are they? Are you serious? Where are they? No, oh, shoot, I fell off. Oh, no! Another one down. Behind you! Look behind you! Huh? Yikes! Overpowered much? <laughs> I hit myself. Heading back inside. It's safe there. Wow! That bow was too powerful! Yikes! Incredible, right? Let me even the odds. Hmm? Can I add more enemies? More enemies? Sure. I still have secret weapons left to use. Might as well use my second one. Attack! Get him! What should I do? Right. I have to use this secret weapon. What? Three, two, one... Yes! Attack! What? Oh, good! Good, good, good! <laughs> Sweet! My Iron Golem Builder activated! Woohoo! I'll use this, too. Whoa! Isn't that a little much? Iron Golems, attack! Oh, nice, nice! I'll take down the distant enemies, and the Iron Golems can take care of the rest. No way! Whoa, Ravagers? Mikey's trying to release enough to beat me. Yeah! Wow, excellent! Do you give up, JJ? There's no way you can handle this many enemies. I won't even spawn anymore. You'll stop spamming enemies? Sure. Hmm. What now? Well, I'm not giving up just yet, Mikey. This isn't the best situation, but I still have two more secret weapons remaining. I guess I'll use my third ultimate secret weapon. Huh? Take this. Three, two, one, go! Ah! Oh, that is sweet! Ah, what just happened? I used the ultimate pitfall trap. Oh, there's still one left. I'll handle that one myself. Take this! Attack! How are you so strong? Hey, what's up with that bow? Yeesh! Woohoo! Your security house is incredible, JJ. I lose. Oh, hang on, Mikey. Another raid is coming? Huh? Get inside! I'm scared, but... Right, it's safe in here. What's this? Here. Oh. That? Oh, that's a shelter. There's a shelter down there. We can hide there if it gets too dangerous. Oh. Then what's that? Hmm? This. Oh, that? Yeah. That's my final secret weapon. Oh? You see the lever in there? Yeah. That's only meant to be touched in a real emergency. Huh? Your final secret weapon? For emergency use only? That's so cool! Oh, but the raiders are coming now! Yep. This could be your only chance to use it! Hang on, Mikey. Wait, 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 wait. That lever activates my most powerful security system. It's not meant for this low of a threat. It's really dangerous, so don't touch it. Aww, but if you tell me not to touch it... Mikey, we need to hide in the shelter right now! Fun! Hurry up, Mikey! I'm going! Hooray! Go, go, go! 
help! Seriously, why did you touch that? Get in the shelter! Whoa! That's quite the location for a house, Mikey. Right? It's so hot here! Hot, hot, hot! Look! It looks toasty. A nether house. That could be fun. What's up? Mikey, isn't your nether house a little too hot? It's right by a sea of lava. Wait, you even have your furnace running. Right. How about we build a secret nether hideout? I'd like that. Still, the nether is terribly hot, so I think we should make a refreshing secret hideout that's cool and full of greenery. Can you make a cool place here? Of course we can. Let's give it a shot. Now where should we build it? Oh, Mikey, what if we build an under lava secret hideout? What? Is that even possible? I'm sure it'll be fine. Just watch. For now, let's dig under the lava here. Here? Huh? It can be done. Watch. Oops, I fell. Hmm. Mikey, let's block off the ceiling. Okay. Yeah. Not bad. Okay, now Mikey, let's carve out this area. This will be where we'll make the secret hideout. Under a sea of lava. That's it. Thanks. Wow. Wow, your area feels cooler already. It changed completely. Totally. Let's make wood floors. Sounds good. I'm specifically using birch wood. Birch wood is very white. That should make it feel cooler. Yep. All right. Filling this in. And now to fill in the ceiling. I'm using these blocks to do the ceiling. All right. There, much better. Oh, it's much nicer now, but not perfect. Now let's build the entrance. How about a staircase? You can't tell it's under lava. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like this will work. Awesome, nice job. All right. Cool! Okay. Fantastic! How's this look? Good! Excellent! The ladder's done, and so is the entrance. There's something we still need though, Mikey. What? Our idea was to build a cool house in the nether, right? So, I think we should add some greenery. All right! That's why I'm going to make the staircase much fancier. What's that mean? First, I'll use some dirt. What could be more natural than dirt? Like this. Fabulous! There. And on the side of the dirt, I'll place birch trap doors. Like this. Okay, and now I'll plant some trees. To do that, I'll use some oak leaves and oak fence. Okay. Like this. Maybe every other one? Mm. Hmm. Wow. Now that's nice. Very natural. Now the plan is for this area to be the living room. I want to make it very extravagant. Hmm. Let's put some lights on the ceiling. I'll use beacons. They're really bright. Yep, extremely bright. I knew that. Wow! Here? And here? Okay. Now, lava makes the nether very hot, right, Mikey? 
So, what would you like to do when you come home? What? I don't know. The answer is swim. I know I'd want to take a dip, so let's build a pool. We'll make it in the living room. This can be the pool area. All right, let's make it nice and wide. Wow, awesome. A pool in the nether, under a sea of lava? Yep. Amazing. It's incredible. I brought the buckets. Go for it. Two at once. Ready. Sure. This will be a moment to remember. Three, two, one. JJ? Here! I remember now. You can't place water in the nether. Any water you place evaporates. So, no pool? Actually, I know a secret way to make water here. There's a secret way to use water in the nether? Watch. How? I'll use commands. It's simple. Type set block. Set block. Then, squiggle, 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 water. And that's it. That's how to make water in the nether. Now, let's light up the pool, Mikey. We can use sea lanterns for it. Whoa, that looks like fun. You can really swim in it. Who would have thought we could swim in the nether? Yeah, wow. Yep, looks like fun. Lanterns here and here. Okay, now let's make a place to eat in the pool. Fancy. Something like this, where we can sit in the pool. How is it possible for a pool to be this fancy? Done. This is the table. We can sit and soak while we eat. The nether is really hot, so we can cool off down here. Perfection! The pool's finished. Next up, the living room. I want to make it feel like one. Maybe a table and a sofa? We need a kitchen, too. How's this? Another lantern here. Whoa, that's a pretty shade of green. It feels natural, too. Is this good? Our house looks really fancy. Fancy, fancy, fancy! Whoa! Fancy! This is really cool. Let's do the kitchen now. Shall we put it over here? I made a spot for it here. Over here? Well, are those grass blocks? Yep. Okay, now to till all the soil. We're so fast! You bet. What should we plant, Mikey? Watermelons? Yeah! Watermelons and carrots. Okay. Watermelons first. This is our line of watermelons. This is carrots. And this is the weed area. Nice job! Thanks! Oh, a watermelon already grew! All right. Carrots, wheat, and watermelons. I think we've done pretty well for ourselves. Let's put our finished crops here. All that's left now is the bedroom. Mikey, what should we do? We could build it over here. I was thinking under the staircase. That works too. Let's sleep there. If you sleep in a bed in the nether, it'll explode. So let's build them out of wool. Mine will be here. I made a pillow out of snow. Amazing! Maybe a bit bigger? I like to read in bed, so I'll put a bookshelf here, too. Whoa! Perfect! Okay. This house is amazing. It really is fantastic. We forgot about the kitchen. Let's make one. Yeah. Okay, a cauldron right here. Oh, you can still put water in the cauldron, even in the nether. Apparently. Now for a faucet and a furnace. Okay, finished. Fabulous. Oh, and the fridge. Nice. Okay, now we're done. We're done! Now we can show off our super cool, fancy, secret nether hideout. Let's start outside. This is how it looks from the outside. It's right in the middle of a sea of lava. You can open it from the inside, too. This button lets you inside. We're in. Once you're inside, you're on a staircase. It's lined with trees. Lots of greenery. It feels so cool inside. And now, the living room. The table is made from wood. It's nice. Mm-hmm. And this is our pool. We use commands to put water in the nether. We can go for a swim whenever we want. Oh, an apple? We can eat here. Yep, 
while we're chilling in the pool. Oh, thanks. Just gonna eat apples while cooling down in the pool. And once you're tired, you can sleep in a poolside bed. There's even a bookshelf with books to read. Fantastic. Okay, next up is the kitchen. This is where we can cook. And over here is the farm. We're surprisingly self-sufficient in the nether. This place is so cool, you'd never know you were in the nether. Yeah. Aw, our cat was stuck. Poor kitty. Here we have watermelons, carrots, and wheat. And all of our harvested crops go in here. How's that for the best secret hideout in all the nether? Today, we built a secret hideout in the nether. It's cool with plenty of greenery. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! Mikey! Hmm? What? What is it? Tell me what's going on! What? Listen, Mikey. Yeah? I was thinking we should build a you-know-what today. What do you mean? Wait, you don't remember? No, I have no idea. I was just thinking we could finally build a secret hideout. A secret hideout? Yeah. Where? Well, it's a secret, so that means no one can find it. Right. I was thinking we should build it right under there, right under this big mountain that your house is on. Really? Underground? Nice. Yeah. Let's do it. In that case, let's get started. We're building our secret hideout underground. But where? Maybe here? This looks like it'd be a good location for a staircase that leads down into the bunker. That's good. All right. How's this? It's good. Wow! That should do it. Now for the underground area. We want a massive hideout. One that's good enough to spend the rest of our lives hiding inside. Yeah! Let's make it the best secret hideout ever! We'll have to make it really large. Digging it out by hand will take a lot of work. Let's use TNT. Oh! Yeah, let's do that! <laughs> let's use lots. I want to dig down. Oh, nice! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Wow, sweet! Okay, it seems like it should be large enough now. There's no need to make it any bigger. Yeah, I agree. Now we've cleared away an enormous area with TNT. Yeah, this place is huge! Nice! Next, we're going to get started on building the interior. I was thinking of a more modern design. Like what? Like quartz blocks. Quartz blocks? Nice idea. The theme behind our project is an undetectable underground hideout. It's a place where you can spend your entire life in a high-class fashion. Let's see what we can do to make it happen. OK. All right, for now, this place, it'll be our temporary entrance. You mean like the front door? Yeah. Oh. Now for a staircase. Nice, nice, nice. Hmm. There, the stairs are finished. We're finished. This is great. Wow, fantastic work. This is the living room. The living room. What else do we need? I don't know. A fountain, maybe? <laughs> oh, that's not a bad idea. I think we should build one later. First, we still need places to bathe and sleep. Come on. Let's do it. In that case, we've already cleared so much extra space with the TNT, we can just add a bath and bedroom somewhere around here. Let's go. A high ceiling could work out well for us. How high should it be? Hmm, I'd say about this high? We can put the floor down here. Sounds good. Whoa, Mikey. That's already starting to look like an actual bathhouse. Let's make it extra big. Sure. Even bigger? Yeah, that looks big enough. It's fine. OK. JJ, let's make an entrance here. Hmm? Good idea. Like an off-limits zone. That's awesome. That works. Now we just need to build a ladder down here. There we go. Mikey, this should... Oh, that's something else. This is where we can prep for our adventures. How's that? <laughs> Good idea. We need some chests. Yeah, let's add some. I'll place some trap chests alongside the normal ones. There's gonna be a lot. Oh, wow. Whoa, diamonds. 
This way we can harvest them whenever we need to. Wow, that's pretty extravagant, isn't it? It'll be good. Sure. So, this is the adventure prep room. Right. It wasn't part of our original plans, but now we have an easy way to access the tunnels. How convenient. Nice. Is it really convenient? We're all hooked up. Have you ever seen a house this fancy before? I mean, it's kind of dangerous. <laughs> Come on up, Mikey. Coming. I'm here. Don't forget to shut the trap door when you're done. Wow. Good luck, zombies. The zombies won't be able to climb up. Very nice. Now, all we need for the bedroom is a couple of beds. I'm way ahead of you. Nice. We can fall asleep while watching the fish. That's right. I'll get going on a couple of side tables. Go for it. Next, we'll need some light on the sides. <laughs> that is really something. What's that? Awesome. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. I think we should make a carpet. Oh, I totally agree. Let's see. We should use white carpet. Sure. It's amazing. Yeah, it's something else. Fantastic. Oh, Mikey, we need some bookshelves. Oh, that's right. Bookshelves to read at night. Yep, that's right. Whoa, fancy. Really fancy. Hmm, we should build a desk. Let's do it along here. Okay. There. Now we need chairs. I think campfires make the best chairs. True. Let's put them two squares apart. That looks perfectly balanced. Awesome. There. Okay. I think it's dark enough in here for us to light up the room with a couple more lanterns. I'll make a sofa. Oh, a sofa is a great idea. I'm using snow. <laughs> High class. This area could use some enchantment tables. JJ, this rocks. Whoa. Wow. Okay. The bedroom and the bathhouse are officially complete. Alright, Mikey, it's time to move on to the living room. What kind of stuff should we put in there? We've got a fountain! It's kind of dark in here. Why don't we put in a big chandelier? Ah, uh, why not? Let's make a chandelier. Do we hang it? Let's use beacons as the light source. Oh, good idea! Okay, time to build a chandelier out of beacons. Alright. The roof seems pretty high up. Oh, that looks nice! The fanciest chandelier ever! Now for the beacons. Like this. There, the giant beacon chandelier is done. Nice! Wow! It's so much brighter. It is. That design is really cool. Oh, hang on a sec, Mikey. I forgot something. What? It's so dreary. I wanted to fill the house with a bunch of different plants. Right! What do you think about decorating the living room with plants? Sure. I'll start by using oak fence and greenery. What? This should be good. Just like that. There we go. There! Wow! Whoa! Wow! Awesome! Wonderful. We still don't have anything in this middle area, though. Oh, I have a great idea for it! Yeah? What? Do you think you could pour in some water, please? Water? Yeah, pour it here! There! It spilled over somehow. How? What's this? This is... It's like... It's just a cool spot, JJ. Well, I guess it's nice having water here. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, fancy. Everything's nice and green now. Extravagant. Okay, are we finished now? There's one more thing I have to do. Hmm? Here. What's <laughs> this? Storage. Storage? Really? Oh, Mikey, I just remembered. We forgot to add something really important. Oh, follow me. Here. Hmm? Hurry. What's up? You meant this, right? A flower bed by the entrance. It's vital. <laughs> I guess that's important, too. Wait, was there something else? Uh-huh. What was today's theme? We had a theme for today? What was it? I'll tell you. An undetectable underground hideout. Right. Let's see here. It's still pretty detectable right now. We need something to close it up properly. I know! Let's make a secret entrance! Yep, we're gonna make a secret entrance. Huh? Perfect, it's done. Let's try it. Sure, pull the lever. Three, 
two, one! Whoa! Now open! Do it! All right! Whoa! It's finished! We're all done! Yay! That means it's time for a tour, Mikey! All right, let's go inside! First off, welcome to the living room! Oh, wow! From here, you can pick between the right and left staircases. Hmm, there's the fountain. And here we have Mikey's fancy centerpiece. Yep! We have plenty of trees and other greenery. They're all lit up by the lanterns. Cool! Here's our little storage area. Nice! Look! You can get there by dropping down. Directly beneath the fountain is an elegant bathhouse. So fancy! Wow! Fabulous! Yeah, you can warm up or clean yourself off while chilling next to the bamboo forest. Yeah! The sofa here is another great place where you can sit back and relax. Here's the study space. Oh! Let's study. There are bookshelves up here. There are a couple of cats, too. Here we are, the bedroom. It's lovely. Here we have an aquarium full of coral and tropical fish. It's great. You can sleep down here. Peaceful. It looks like the day is over. Without fail, we managed to complete our undetectable underground hideout. Woohoo! We did it! Yeah, and if you thought our building was cool, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. You can try building your own secret hideout too. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.